I have another flashlight review I want to share with you. This time it is the Thrunite TN12 Pro. If you're interested in hearing more about this light, keep watching. All right, just before we get started, I want to thank Thrunite for sending this light to me so that I could share it with you. So what we'll do is always we'll go down to the tabletop. I'll go over its performance as well as physical specifications. I'll go over its modes of operation. Then, of course, we'll get outside and do some testing. Before we take a closer look at the Thrunight TN12 Pro, let's take a look at what it came with. So this is the box that it arrived in, very much like the other boxes from Thrunight. Inside is the usual warranty information and instruction manual, a well laid out and easy to read and understand. It does come with a USB Type-C charging cable. It also comes with a small bag holding a lanyard, a pair of spare O-rings and a spare battery port cover as well. And finally, something I haven't seen for a while in a flashlight is a belt holster. Now, the quality of construction and materials are just fine for this holster. Having said that, I think if I was using this on a duty belt, I would want to switch up to something a little bit more sturdy, a little bit more heavy duty. However, if I was just wearing this on my side as EDC, I think this would operate just fine. So let me put that aside, bring this back into the picture. So let's go over a few of the key features for the light. As I mentioned, it is USB Type-C rechargeable battery port cover here, works well. It has a side switch that allows you to not only turn the light on and off, but to access all the modes. And I very much like that about this light. And it has a tail switch which allows you to access turbo with a partial and full press. So you get that momentary use of turbo from this tail switch only. All right, let's go over the physical specifications for the light. So the overall length of this light is 5.18 inches, which is 131.5 millimeters. The diameter at the basal is 1.06 inches, which is 27 millimeters. Diameter at the base of the battery tube is one inch even, which is 25.5 millimeters. The weight with the battery is five ounces or 143 grams. All right, as far as performance specifications go, we'll start at the top. So turbo comes in at 1900 lumens, which will last for seven minutes before it switches down to 477 lumens, which will last for an additional 130 minutes. It has a high setting of 550 lumens, which will last for two and one half hours, a medium setting of 220 lumens lasting nine hours, a low of 50 moon lumens lasting 46 hours and a firefly of 0.5 lumens lasting 37 days. It also has a strobe coming in at 550 lumens, which will last for four and a half hours. It has a beam distance on turbo of 380 min, uh, meters. It has an intensity of 36,000 candela. It is has uh, it is IPX8 rated with an impact resistance of 1.5 meters. Before we go through the modes of operation for the TN12 Pro, I just want to point out, I think I may have failed to do so a minute ago, it does come with an additional accessory, which is this two-way pocket clip, which of course is removable. Now, to turn the flashlight on and off, everything can be done from the side switch. So it's a simple press. You'll come on at whatever last lumen setting was. If you press and hold, it'll cycle up through low, medium, high, back to low, medium, high. I'll turn it off at low. So now turn it off, turn it on. And again, as I mentioned, it comes back with that memory feature. Now you can access turbo from this button as well, either with the light turned on or off with a double click and you're into turbo. Turn it off and you have the memory again for the last lumen setting. As I mentioned also, it does have a tail switch which allows you to access turbo directly, either momentary by partially depressing the switch or leave it on turbo by fully depressing the switch. So that's a nice feature to have. Basically what this does, it makes it both an EDC flashlight as well as a tactical flashlight. Now, like all fla uh, through night flashlights to access the eco mode, you press and and hold the light uh, or the switch on and you'll go down to the lowest setting of five or 0.5 lumens. To access strobe while the light is turned on, you can triple click the side button and you'll go directly to strobe. 
Now I want to take a minute to go through the lockout mode, the electronic lockout mode for this flashlight because it's a little different than some of the other flashlights in that it has a level one and a level two or a primary and secondary, whatever you want. So a kind of a belts and suspenders approach to the safety of having a lockout. So basically you start with this side switch again. With the flashlight turned off, if I press and hold it, I go into turb or Firefly. And while it's in Firefly, if I press and hold it, it it will lock out. And once it's uh, locked out, you can't op you, you get no uh, operation of the flashlight. Now, if I want to uh, double lock it, all I need to do is press the tail switch and now it's double locked. So again, I can't even unlock it from the side switch. Before I can unlock it from the side switch, I have to unlock it. Now press and hold and it will come on in Eco and then you can, or Firefly, and you can work your way up through the settings from there. All right, haven't gone through the physical performance specifications for the Thru-Night TN12 Pro, and haven't gone through its modes of operation. There's only one thing left to do with this light, and that is to get outside and do some testing. Doing some nighttime testing of the Thru-Night TN12 Pro, a rather good size EDC flashlight with tactical capabilities, Quite nice to carry in the pocket and very effective out here in the woods. Let me turn on the Firefly mode. Uh, that's, that's not going to pick up on the camera. Let's try it on the tree. You may be able to see it on the tree beside me. Really, this is for use inside of the tent so you don't lose your night vision too badly. Turn that off. Turn it on. Now, that is low. I could navigate with that if I really wanted to save battery, but... Medium. That I could navigate with quite well. And at medium, you're going to have a longer battery life. So, yeah, that, I think medium is a good setting for general use. Take it up to high. There's high. And plenty of light there. And one more turbo. And that just illuminates the wood. The light has great penetration. That's 50 meters down the path. But hopefully it's showing up that there's significant amount of flood on either side so great combination of flood as well as a forward light on this. Before closing this video out I thought we'd go over the pros and cons for the Through Night TN12 Pro. So there's not a lot more to say about this light other than the fact that one thing I have yet to point out is the fact that the tail cap switch or the tail switch on the end is slightly depressed below the level of the uh, back end of the flashlight. And what that does is it allows you to table stand it and use the light for that and in, in that way. However, it is that is also a bit of a con in that now that that, that switch is a little bit recessed, I find, at least for me, it may not be for others, I find it a little harder to access the button. It just seems to be maybe the size of my thumb, a little bit arthritic with old age. I'm not quite sure. To be honest, I gave this to my wife to try and she had no problems whatsoever using that tail switch. So it's probably just my um, personal opinion on this that it is a little bit harder to use the switch with it depressed like this. So uh, yeah, uh, the other thing I think I especially like about this is the fact that it came with a holster. That is actually a bit unusual. I have some other lights that have arrived that definitely needed a holster that didn't have one. That this comes with a holster, you may never use it that way, but it is nice for it to come with that feature. Okay, I think I've pretty much covered all the pros and cons for this flashlight and all the other information. I will be putting all the information for this flashlight in the video description below. I would invite you to leave me any comments that you want to make or any questions, put those in the comments section below. But as always, Get out and explore and take that path less travel because it will make all the difference. Bye for now.